So if your digital fashion and workflow is close ready to Blender, you know this trouble. Most of the time I have challenge between close ready to Blender, especially if it comes with avatar texture and uh, garment, especially if it's with animation. So most of the time the avatar's texture, especially if it comes from um, close ready, it's off and gone and you have to go over the process of um, texturing, UV, unwrapping, and so many things that most of our uh, digital fashion artists, they don't like to go in there. So I didn't know this trick until one of my subscribers tell me this trick. And right now I'm going to go and try it out. And I promise it works. And it's very, very interesting. It's the best way to success the challenge. And if you are in digital fashion and you knew what trouble I'm talking about, most probably you're going to watch this and you're going to give me a thumbs up. So don't forget if this video uh, helps you, don't forget to subscribe and write a comment for me. So I'm going to start with this, open up my uh, cloth 3D and let's get into the UV editor. In the UV editor, we want to make sure that everything, every patterns are in one cluster, not going through uh, the cluster and not overlapping each other. After that, we're going to jump into the animation and we want to give our um, avatar and garment an animation. And I'm going to choose these um, working in place animation and now i'm gonna turn on very stable animation maybe nine or ten let's try ten and let's just start the simulation now what i need you to do is exactly at this exact moment we want to again have another simulation with our garment okay so right now we uh, simulated two times, one time with a transition and one time without transition. So what we want to do is to delete the first one, the first transition garment, and then this transition, this is a small transition, and delete this. Right now, we have one walking in place animation, which is belongs to Avatar, and the other one belongs to the garment. So for the first step, let's go to the simulation mode, file and export as an alembic. And we want to name it as a garment. Save. Make sure that it should set to tick and we don't want any avatar. So this should be empty and not checked. And OK. The next step is to select all the garments and delete them all. And right now I want to select the avatar going to file and export it as an FBX and search. Let's type um, avatar and save. We want to export all. I want to change anything else. That's it. And hit OK. Don't forget to do the control Z on your keyboard to bring back the garment. Another thing you um, want to do if you get to care of the texture in cloth ready, again you want to go to the UV editor and get the um, texture right here from UV snapshot, uh, snapshot and you need to save it right here. Um, type textures and save and what we want to have save and then it's time to get over to blender so in blender i want to um, select this and hit delete on my keyboard go to the file import now let's try with the uh, garment alembic let's locate our file this is our um, alembic file which is our garment and you can see it here, but nothing's here. It's because too big. So, and now let's go to the file again, import. This time, let's bring in our avatar. Again, locate our file and right here in the animation offset, we don't want it to be 
one you want it to be zero that's one thing you need to change and import fbx so right now this is our avatar if you change it to the texture you can see it has all the textures with it but it's too small for this for the garment so let's start with selecting garments and hit any on your keyboard right here you can um, see a scale we want to click on this tree and add this number in so 0 0.01 and hit okay it's completely fit other thing you want to notice is this part um, it's lost because we haven't uh, brought the transition part which is a good thing uh, because we have the loop animation of the walking uh, and there is no other um, challenging part with um, take care of uh, the scale of uh, garments and avatar together matching them together align them together so if you start playing it you can see everything is there and nothing's missing if you um, bothered get bothered with this uh, you just need to select them and here in armature let's turn it off however if it's uh, turned up it won't appear on the camera now let's uh, check the camera and then i will tell you how to modify some textures let's go to the view and align view align active camera to view now uh, we want to change it to cycles if you have any proper gpu it's better to set on that and it's better to simulate um, in um, small rate and the other thing we, i want to have it as a transparent but this is completely optional um, now i think the best thing is to have a HDRI which you can very easily find out on my channel how to set up an HDRI okay now it's set but the camera is um, reverse we have to a little bit rotate it so I will start here 920 just change the ratio and now let's get over to the render viewport right now it's there but if we render the image you can see that there is no armature showing up here but some textures needs to be fixed one of them is the um hair and the other thing is the um skin the skin seems very um smooth it's like mirror and it has reflection which we don't like so let's split the window select the avatar go to the material part find the uh, part you find it um, glossy like i guess the face is super glossy but not the neck or the legs so let's select the face and right here let's get to the shader editor we want to set the roughness a little bit more so it's completely up to you um, how rough you want it and if you um ask me i guess it's better if we give it more uh a strength in the normal map it's brought out all the details of the avatar so let's try with the four and see it's more out and it can when they're better if you can see it, the rating four is a little bit high let's set it to three and three would be good also if you have any custom makeup you can apply it here and get going with that another thing we want to take care of is um 
her hair. So let's select the hair and get down to the setting and viewport. It, we want to make sure that it's set to alpha blend and alpha clip. Also the second one. We want to make sure that both of them are alpha blend and alpha clip. Also set the check the normal map. Let's turn it to two. Also the roughness is too much, I guess. Now let's take care of the roughness. Here you can change the roughness here. And this is the hair color. So if you're not completely satisfied with the hair color you can choose your own hair color like if you want to go to black you can um, change change and has it as a have it as a black and if you don't like just um, keep this on and shift a on the keyboard search for uh, color ramp and put it exactly in the middle between these two so now if you play with these two and let's select this. The other thing makes our hair more natural is that to go to the render viewport and under the light path, we want to set the transmission to uh, 64. Also transparent, we want it to have 64 and overall we want it to have 102, uh, 128 and you may not notice it here, but it's completely different when you render it, it's more natural. Let's try the render, render image. Now here it's much more natural than what you're seeing, but I guess it's better if we take down the roughness much more. Now it's time to get uh, material for the garment if you select the garment going down to material you can see there is none and um, what you should do the thing is i have a um a very uh important tip for you and if you find it uh helpful don't forget to give me a thumb or subscribe to my channel and make my day so in the UV editor in Clove 3D, basically, if you have more than one cluster, like for example, if you want to have different materials in different clusters or you want a better resolution, so it calls you to put all the garments in different clusters, they don't work in Blender. It needs unwrapping and so many challenges. So what I mean is, even if you have so many materials like right now i have one material but let's imagine that you have different materials for example i want my uh, sleeves to be different materials but it doesn't matter the things that is mat that is important is that in UV editor, however, they are in different type, different material, they should be in one, one, one cluster. Because the thing is, as soon as we hit this new and add garment, we only have one, go one uh, thing to go with. So, you cannot add different UVs to it, especially if you uh, brought it from Substance Painter. So what you want to do for adding the texture to this, as you can see, you already very familiar, I guess, to uh, make different colors here. But if you want the exact one in Clow, you just need to click on this but before that let's go to the edit preferences and add-ons let's search for node wrangler it should be on at any circumstances and 
now as soon as it turns white when you click it it turns white hold uh, ctrl shift T together and locate your um, textures so these are my textures and i want to sort it as name so i have these three back together so i select them and hit principal texture and so right now it's here the thing is sometimes it needs some modification to do it especially if you have any um a specific roughness that's completely off to you and this is it but it seems a little bit off if you add proper lighting and also a background runway which you can easily find the videos on my channel it will turn out much better so this is the end of tutorial but i hope to see you in the next one and if this video helps you please don't forget to subscribe share and like this video see you in the next one